Welcome to our lesson on triple integrals and volume using cylindrical coordinates. The goal is to determine the volume of a solid using cylindrical coordinates. In a cylindrical coordinate system, a point P in space is represented by an ordered triple R, theta, and Z, as we see here below. R theta is the polar representation of a point in the xy plane, where R here is the directed distance from the origin in the xy plane, and theta is the angle counterclockwise from the polar axis or the positive x-axis. And z is the directed distance up or down from r theta in the xy plane. And then also we need to be familiar with the formulas used to convert between rectangular and cylindrical coordinates as we see here and here. So to determine the volume of a solid using cylindrical coordinates, we're going to have a triple integral over the region V integrated with respect to V, where differential V is equal to R dz dr d theta. Remember, we have an extra factor of R. And then the limits of integration will be expressed using R and theta. And this is very similar to what we did in the previous video when we introduced triple integrals using cylindrical coordinates. Let's go and take a look at that real quickly. The only difference is for the volume f of x, y, z would be equal to one. So our procedure for evaluating the triple integral is going to be the same as we did in the first video. It's just that now the limits of integration will define the solid region, which will then give us the volume of the solid using this triple integral. Let's go and take a look at our first example. Here we want to use a triple integral in cylindrical coordinates to determine the volume of the solid bounded by z equals zero and z equals nine minus the quantity x squared plus y squared. Let's take a look at this in 3D first. So here's our graph. We have a paraboloid in blue and then we have this yellow plane. And our goal is to determine the volume inside the paraboloid above the yellow plane. So we'll start by taking a look at the x, y, x, z, and y, z traces. So for the x, y trace, we'll set z equal to zero so if z was zero, we could move the quantity x squared plus y squared to the left side, and we'd have x squared plus y squared equals nine. So we have a circle centered at the origin with a radius of three. And then for the xz trace, if we set y equal to zero, we'd have z equals nine minus x squared. Well, that's a parabola that opens down with a z-intercept of nine and x-intercepts of positive three and negative three. So it would look like this. And then the yz trace is similar. If we let x equal zero, we'd have z equals nine minus y squared. So if this is the y-axis and this is the z-axis, the trace would look just like the xz trace. So our volume is gonna be equal to the triple integral, where differential v is gonna be equal to r dz dr d theta. So we'll start by determining the limits of integration for z. And for the x, z, and the y, z trace, I might as well go ahead and graph z equals zero here and here. So we can see that z starts at zero. And then for the upper limit of integration with respect to z, which must be expressed in terms of r and theta, would be determined by these two parabolas here, which were slices of z equals nine minus x squared plus y squared. And since x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, we'd have nine minus r squared for our upper limit of integration for z. And then to determine r, we can look at the x, y trace. r is gonna start at zero and then go out to three. And then for theta, we need to go all the way around this circle, so it'd be from zero all the way to two pi. So this triple integral will give us the volume of this bounded three-dimensional region. Let's go ahead and evaluate this on the next page. We'll first integrate with respect to z, treating r as a constant. That's gonna give us rz. Well, when z is equal to nine minus r squared, we'll have nine r minus r cubed. And then when z is zero, this will be zero. And now integrating the specs to r, we're gonna have nine times r squared over two, or nine halves r squared, minus 
r to the fourth over four or one fourth r to the fourth. So when r is three, we're gonna have nine times nine is 81 over two, minus three to the fourth is 81, so 81 fourths. And then when r is zero, these will both be zero. Eighty-one halves minus eighty-one fourths will equal eighty-one fourths. Integrate with respect to theta. So we'll have eighty-one fourths times two pi over one and minus zero. This simplifies here. So this would be eighty-one pi over two cubic units for the volume of this solid region. Let's take a look at one more example. We want to use a triple integral in cylindrical coordinates to determine the volume of the solid bounded by z equals four minus the square root of x squared plus y squared, x squared plus y squared equals one, and z equals zero. Let's go and take a look at this graphically. So the goal is to determine the volume inside the cylinder above the green plane and below the blue surface. So let's start by taking a look at the traces. Let's take a look at the x, y, x, z, and y, z traces. So for the x, y trace, we'll let z equal to zero. So if z is equal to zero here, we'd have zero equals four minus the square root of x squared plus y squared. So if we move this square root to the other side and then squared both sides, we would have x squared plus y squared equals 16. But we're not actually gonna use this trace because if we take a look at the other trace, x squared plus y squared equals one. We're looking for the volume that's inside this smaller cylinder, so we're only gonna sketch the circle with radius one centered at the origin. So here's our x, y trace that we need. For the x, z trace, we'll set y equal to zero. Be a little careful here. We'll have z equals four minus the square root of x squared, which would simplify to the absolute value of x. And then here we'd have x squared equals one. And here we have z equals zero. So here's z equals zero. For z equals four minus the absolute value of x, remember absolute value graphs make a v, so this will be a v with a z intercept of four, something like this. Then x is equal to plus or minus one. So the xz trace is this region in here. Here we had inside the circle. Then the yz trace is gonna be similar to the xz trace. Setting x equal to zero, we'll have z equals four minus the absolute value of y. Here we'll have y squared equals one. And again, z is equal to zero. So here's z equals zero. Here's y equals negative one. Here's y equals positive one. And we have this v-shaped graph from the absolute value, so our region is in here. A lot of times when setting this up, we only need the x, y trace, but I think getting in the habit of making all three traces is often helpful to get a better understanding. So our volume is gonna be equal to this triple integral where we have r dz dr d theta. So for the limits of integration for z, it starts at zero, and then it goes up to these v-shaped graphs that are generated by this cone, z equals four minus the square root of x squared plus y squared. Remember, we have to express z as a function of r and theta. So the upper limit for z is going to be four minus, this will be the square root of r squared, or just four minus r. And then for r and theta, we can use the x, y trace. r will be from zero to one and theta will be from zero all the way around to two pi. So let's go ahead and evaluate this on the next page. So we're gonna have r times z. Now we'll replace z with four minus r and then with zero. Replacing z with four minus r, that'll give us four r minus r squared. And then when z is zero, this will be zero.
integrating this back to r, we're going to have 4 times r squared over 2, or 2r squared, minus 1 third r cubed. Replacing r with 1, we're going to have 2 minus 1 third. And then when r is 0, these will both be 0. 2 minus 1 third is 5 thirds. So we'll have 5 thirds theta. We'll have 2 pi, I'll put it over 1, minus 0. We we'll have 10 pi over 3. So the volume of the solid inside the cylinder, above the blue, above the green plane, below the blue surface, is equal to 10 pi over 3 cubic units. And that'll do it. Thank you for watching.